They mm-hmm. seem to have uncovered, unearthed the video <laughs> of uh, a lady who matched with Ben. It says, thinking of the time, I, and she's, she is a good-looking lady, thinking of the time I matched with Ben Affleck on Raya and thought it was fake, so I unmatched him, and he sent me a video on Instagram, and I think we have the video. Yeah, it looks like this was posted to TikTok. It was originally taken from Raya, but right. then this was then posted to TikTok, which is why you can hear some music in the background. Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. I just wish things would be better. Mm. I'm trying to get rid of them, but oh. nothing seems to Naveen, why did you unmatch me? It's me. That's Ben Affleck, mm. folks. Yeah. It's me. Mm-hmm. It's me. Yeah, he sounded like Batman when he said that. Yeah. Right. Which yeah. is kind of it's kinda of hot, I have to admit. It's a little hot, a little mysterious, a little mm-hmm. creepy. But J Lo, mm-hmm. is she is she uh, is there like a crack in the? Is, like she damaged? Like what? What's? The... Oh, every every single one of us. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. I mean why? Like yeah. What? Like he? Like Ben Affleck's been through it publicly. He has. Mm-hmm. He seems to have like a very public, you know, back tattoo, with, mm-hmm. back <laughs> tattoo, struggle with alcohol. Yeah. But now, now, what? What are we doing? Uh, she's the muse, and she's fine. I don't. I can't. You know, J Lo for me is sort of like. I respect her ethic and Same. her motor. On the other hand, I couldn't imagine being around that twenty four seven. You know, you know what, what I mean. Like she just be in the gym yes. all the time, yes. or whatever she always was doing. in long floor length flowy dresses. Yes, and they had that's the gym, gotta get caught. And they stuff. had the gym opened for her during COVID because she did not want to miss a workout. So you're right about that. Yeah. But what do you think is harder, being her boyfriend or being her daughter? She mm. has a daughter. Oh, yeah. That's a really good question. Yeah. I mean, I, I, obviously, it's a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it could be. She boyfriend. can't break up with her daughter. That's true. And you know? she just, she's kind of the female Tom Cruise. Yeah, yeah. she's like, pretty badass. It's like you guys are in your fifties. You haven't aged a day. You you have this mentality that if you ever stop pedaling this bike. The bike will get stolen yes. or destroyed, and it's like you're just gonna be on yes. it, just just pedaling. Like we should actually get Tom Cruise and J Lo together. Oh, the b- Earth would explode. Yeah, it probably would. It, it, the couch would break that he'd jump on. <laughs> yeah, so because excited. I do. You feel like any of those? Either one of them. Can you picture either one of them just cracking an IPA and loosening their sweatpants <laughs> and ordering some pizza and Adam. watching the game? Like, could you ever picture them just going? Fuck it, I'm ripping a bong load, and I'm just going to play some video games. If like, anyone knows the answer to that, it's you. That's you true. Invi- Kimmel invited Tom Cruise to watch Sunday football to, to see if he cracks a beer and hangs out with the guys. No, he brings cupcakes and his mother. He did? Yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about? Is this real? Yeah. Yeah. But was it videotaped? Uh, we, have a, we have a picture like, there's of pictures. it. pictures. We've seen Okay, them. so this wasn't like a segment. No. Okay. No. This was just like a Sunday, and he brought right. cupcakes, and he brought his That's mother. That's adorable. Yeah, he oh, brought his mom, perfect. and he brought cupcakes. You sure it was a, his mom? Did you do a background check? She could have been a lady from the church. Yeah, making uh, sure you're not suppressive people. I, her teeth were taller than him. Okay. Did you guys? So I did some teeth <laughs> math. They got tall. They're tall teeth family. Did they she gently... had a very tall teeth. <laughs> I answered the door, I think. I was pretty buzzed by the time yeah. they showed up. Did I you remember... feel any pressure on your perineum at any point? My perineum? perineum. Did you say? My tan? Yeah. Did you did you feel any slight pressure? Because that's Scientology entering you. I, oh, what? it is. Is, is that, that what how it, feels it gets like? in? Do I tried t- to say it without laughing, and I just couldn't commit to it. It's yeah, my fault. We Jeff got Ross a picture of Jeff Ross and I cousin Jeff. Sal. I love Jeff so much. And uh, there they are. I'm sorry. I feel like I know a lot about Scientology, and I have not heard that it enters through your. It, yeah, that's a fact. Wow. Oh yeah. So Idlewild, fun fact, is the mountain above Hemet. Mm-hmm. And there was a sheriff hanging out in Idlewild, and I wanted to, I said, I want to say, look, I know that you know what goes on down there, and I know that you're bought and paid for by the Miss Cabbages. Will you mm. just tell me? But oh, I was afraid right. they'd throw me in the pit and have it. wife? It yeah. was Shelly Miss Cabbage. His wife's on, on Raya, right? That's risky. Oh, I wow. Doubt it. wow. I, I doubt they gave her a phone. <laughs> Here's, here was <laughs> no my, way. I had the most blue collar thought in the world, which is Tom Cruise and his mom showed up to Jimmy's house to watch football and bring us cupcakes. And he had a town car. He had mm-hmm. a driver. Mm-hmm. And yet, he never had a beer. And mm. I was like, you have a car on a football Sunday, <gasps> and you're not getting wasted? That's just... Like, this is your window yeah. for getting drunk right Sacrilege. now. You have a town car. I couldn't, I couldn't imagine why you would pay for a car and not crack a beer. But... 
it I comes think, at a cost, that level of success. I don't know. Can you, can you, are there people that are at that level who do get drunk on a Sunday at all? I, I can't imagine J-Lo well, getting drunk. I can't no, imagine not having J-Lo, more than... but that's why we got to get her and Tom together. Yeah, I'd like to think that George Clooney does. Yeah, he gets high on his own supply. Yeah. We all know Brad smokes weed. Yeah. Oh, Brad smoking weed. Yeah. 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 Brad and I need a hot boxes in home. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it for you. Or not, but uh, there's a word on the street, literally, is that he's moving into my neighborhood. Wow. Well, how would that ruin it for me? Because now you can get me his address, and I can yeah. just, you know, yurt it in the street. Mm-hmm. I just cute, put a cute little yurt. Glamp. Mm-hmm. A glamp out out front. Because mm-hmm. obviously that's fine in this town. Yeah. yeah. It's a courage. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I we like can, we can work on that. Yeah, we can work on Let's. Why don't we, how, how about you invite us over on a football Sunday? Mm-hmm. I don't really watch football, but I can make a mean seven layer dip. Oh, can you? Yeah. I'm either a six or eight layer guy. We'll work on it. We'll, we'll work on it. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll find a number that's suitable for I'm an, you. I'm, a, I'm an even number layer <laughs> dip guy. I'm not surprised. Being, being I'm a, man a Gemini. Who's many <laughs> it just it doesn't sit so, cosmically right. So with what me. goes? What goes? The olives? The sour cream? You got. I'm going to leave that up to you, okay. or you can add one. Right. Can I take a, a layer out and put it in a dish on the side? <laughs> No, why don't you add hummus, like oh. a nice comforter blanket of hummus onto the top, and then it'll be eight layer, and then I could cosmically eat it. That's a good idea. I'll add any layer if you just have us over on a Sunday. Um, we'll have you over. Don't count on that, because many moons ago, before I was betrothed, he was really good friends with John Hamm. That didn't do shit for any of us. Oh, uh, the bulge. Yeah. You didn't share the bulge with your friends? That's really- He that's talked all- a lot about being friends with John Hamm. I never met John Hamm. Why don't you share the bulge? Yeah, that's I went, rude. I know. He, had, he has a big choke, Ham. right? Yeah. 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 It's photographed. It's documented. It's yeah. basically scientific evidence. Yeah. Yeah, I went to his house and did, oh, you want to speak of carpentry and John Ham oh, More than God. anything. Well, I'm now I'm going to slide off the seat. <laughs> People invite me over their house to walk through their house while they tell me what they want to do to their <laughs> house. And then I tell them it's a good idea or a bad idea. Right. And, uh, do you charge people for this? You no, should. You I should. should. I just did that. I yeah. did that with John. I didn't do the work. I just did the. You did the best did the part. Walk through. Yeah. That picture, that bulge casts quite a shadow. Oh yeah, it's like I, it, Groundhog. It, it, there's six more weeks of winter when John's around. That's dream fuel. That, yeah, yeah, that's definitely a little you know warthog. What is it? Chipmunk? What comes out of the hole? Groundhog. It's groundhog. Warthog. Poxitani Phil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Comes yeah. out of there. Yeah. There's. <laughs> All right. Well, I can only talk about. Um, John Ham's hog for another twenty minutes before <laughs> I'm going to have to turn the page. Who All else right. has a big dick beside me? <laughs> I don't mean beside me. Right. I mean not <laughs> including me. My husband. Let's move on. Mm-hmm. Uh, William Shatner finally getting to go to space for real. It's happening next week when he blasts off aboard Blue Origin's new Shepard N718 rocket. He was invited by, you guessed it, Jeff Bezos, to go to the edge of outer space, and the 90-year-old actor accepted. The launch will take place next Tuesday in West Texas. Shatner will be joined by three others, uh, including two paying customers. In a statement, he said, I've uh, heard about space for a long time now. I'm taking the opportunity to see it myself. What a miracle. Are you allowed to go to space if you're 90? I think you should go for free if you're that old. Yeah, if you can make it to 90. That should be a part of the AARP. Yeah, I mean, you're just baggage. You're steerage right. at, at that point. Right. You're right. not flying the thing. You're just there. But and then you just get shoved out into space like Clooney and gravity. You mm-hmm. Right. You're shoved out there. But th- even to go on a roller coaster, like you can't be pregnant, you can't have back problems, you can't have blood pressure, and like all of a sudden it's all good if you're going into the stratosphere. That's a really good point because that seems like the most dangerous That's, out of all those things. Yes. <laughs> Yes, we're yeah. at least equipped to handle outer space. You who, might be able to survive a roller coaster situation. Yes. Like, who's who's gotten more out of their life than Shatner? I mean, he's ninety. He's going into outer space. He was in a piece of shit TV show yeah. from that the didn't mid sixties that, that ran it was like three two Star years Trek? or something. Yeah. Yes. It only ran for a few years. Yeah, it ran for like three seasons. It, it was so epic in my household. It felt like it was the biggest show. It's. Obviously, he's gotten more mileage out of that character. He gets the. He's, he's had fun with that character. He he leans into it. He he's, seems to have a sense of humor about himself. He's he's a delightful guy. I mean, he's been through a lot too. His poor wife. 
Yeah. He passed away and he yes. found her. Found her yes. in the swimming pool. Mm-hmm. Yes. He's he's loved and he's lost and he's gone out of space. That's great. Who who amongst us has led, led the rich life that Bill Shatner has? Pound for pound, mm-hmm. George Decay. Mm. Because oh, George Decay has, I think, done less mm-hmm. in terms of acting mm-hmm. and ridden it out the same length. Yes. And yes. it's been a good voice in society when things are going on. Seems to have a good opinion and viewpoint on things that are going on. Well, and really wants you to well, know Well, about... no, he's played. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Okay. I have spent some time with him. Do oh, he shot, shot to bring... shit? Well, first off, do not say Japanese internment camp right. in front of George Takei. Unless you have a couple hours. You have to Duly say noted. Japanese American internment camp. Is this on Sundays? Because he's for American. <laughs> he's not invited to play football. No one wants to hear him fucking Your football pre-camp. Sundays are sounding more fun as we go on. I'm saying, you know, um, my heritage is Italian. If, if, if somebody rounded up Italians in 1941, and my all I did as, a, as an adult was like, well, what about the Italians that were rounded up? It'd be like, fuck, and give it a re- give it yeah. a rest. It happened. Shit happens. Get the fuck over it. Get on with your life. Also, if you rounded up all those Italians from that era, every single one would be individually canceled. Yes. <laughs> every single one. I feel like we'd have a little Italy. We'd have It'd a be a yeah. good place to get a slice Consistent yeah. slice. Have a little wine. A Napoleon loaf. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A Neapolitan loaf, whatever Cannoli. you call it. A little verbal cat calling to the women in the yeah. street. Mm-hmm. You feel like a lady. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little, bo- a little gabagool. Yeah. Gabagool. <laughs> Fangool, gabagool. Okay. I want to open up a pizza shop called Fangool, gabagool. I would invest. <laughs> would you? <laughs> yeah. Well, what's her name? Did it with Mulberry Street, right? Was that Kathy Moriarty? Yeah. Yeah, do it. You're like the young Kathy Moriarty. Oh, that's right. a compliment. I'll that's take a compliment. It. I'll Hold take on. It. I just thought of my Halloween costume. Hmm. Oh, boy. And thank you, by the way, Jesse May. A sleeve of soap or sock? Excuse me? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm really big. I'm really big into The Sopranos. I'm going to be <laughs> Tony's ghost called a gabagool. <laughs> a gabagool. Mm-hmm. That's, ghoul. That's, thank that's you. good. Yes, thank that you. deserves. Thank you. That was wonderful. Mm, thank you that very was much. Strong. I didn't yeah. know where you were going with that, but I that was really about beautiful. Thank she you. brought it home. Yeah. I, I, mm. that, the internet's going to go wild. <laughs> and wow. some dick is like, it's already been done. Stop sealing where it is. <laughs> uh, so let's talk a little bit about what's going on in vax culture. Um, so oh we boy. talked about the Pope super into getting vaccinated. Um, United Airlines has, been, uh, has begun the process of firing around 600 employees who will not get vaccinated. They require all the employees to show proof of it by last Monday. More than 99% of them have. Some trying to get a religious exemption, uh, but if you don't don't get it, you're fired. The airline also plans to hire 25,000 employees over the next few years with proof of vax. Um, That'll be required for employment. And New Zealand, that has come up a lot lately, they, in November, will start letting people into the country who are fully vaccinated. Um, That's according to their minister in charge of handling the epidemic. Um, New Zealand's borders have been closed, sealed, for uh, to non residents and non citizens since last March. Wow, There's yeah, a lot going on. And isn't Australia their? <coughs> I thought I read that today, like their um, hospitals are completely overrun by police that have beaten people who have been. <gasps> yeah, they're all Hold they're on. going full totalitarian lockdown. This, we're just beat the shit out of everyone in the streets. Yeah, they're 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 taking it to another level. There's, I mean, there there's crazy footage of them like tackling people in parks that are smoking right, and stuff without the, their masks. Right, like, they're just sitting on the beach or doing something to get a little bit of fresh air, hang out with their friends, and basically just be teenagers, and they're being beaten by the police by resisting, you know, the um, wh- whatever their regulations are now, which seem a little ex- it seems a little extreme. Everything seems very extreme right now. Yeah, I and agree. Unruly. Well, okay. <laughs> Well, everything's politicized. First things first. If you have natural immunity, you shouldn't have to get vaccinated. You're immune. You have natural immunity. So we have to figure out a way. So here's an interesting, you know, little thought experiment. You know, they estimate that maybe 100 million Americans have got it Mm -hmm. and like have natural immunity. So shouldn't we be trying to determine, Mm -hmm. shouldn't we have a full-fledged campaign of like who has had this? Because that's going to save a lot of shots and it's going to also create a lot of policy. Right. You know what I mean? Yes. Like if you're a school teacher, you work for United Airlines, whatever, you've had it. You have natural immunity. Turns out natural immunity is better. We'd kind of prefer that. I've not heard any push toward like testing. I mean, I know it exists, but I mean. Like antibody tests? Yeah. Like, hey, we're going to 
put up kiosks everywhere. We're going to open the right. Dodger Stadium parking lot, which is what you do when you want to get something done in L.A. You go, the parking lot if Dodger <laughs> Stadium is open now. We put cones out there. For some reason, that's our catch-all of where you end up. Yeah, yeah, we'll put guys with orange vests. We'll put cones out there, and then you go to Dodger Stadium, and you go, what's going? Doesn't fucking matter. Go there. Yeah. It's a haunted hayride. It will fix whatever you have. <laughs> Just go there. Right. And then uh, then test people from their car yeah. to see if they have natural immunity. And then give a natural immunity vax card badge. for badge yeah. or, or whatever that, that sticker is that says you you voted or your bananas are ripe or whatever <laughs> whatever it is. Like, fucking work it out. Yeah. Focus on that a little bit. That'll that'll change well, things. Well, and if this shit is here to stay, now they have like the, the it sounds like a frat, like the Delta Mu or the Delta, it's like the Mu variant now. Here, here's the, here's the thing. Is here. Here's the thing. It's here to stay. Yeah. Everyone's going to get it, and the vaccines are, you're going to have to get, you know, revaxed right. every boosters, six months six and, months, and right. boosters and stuff like that. Real herd immunity is going to be everyone getting it, essentially. Right. If you're vaxxed, then maybe you don't get it as bad. So that would be that would be a good thing. But the reality is, is at least start having a conversation about natural immunity and some some way, because now it's kind of interesting. We just got kicked off YouTube. The, uh, the <laughs> I was just going to say, the show, all the lights are just going to go out. And there's going to be a red dot on what, Adam's head. <laughs> it's a totally different group, but there was that whole group that was getting a note from their doctor saying that uh, their dog was a service dog mm-hmm. so they could travel with their mm-hmm. dog. And now there's going to be a whole group who needs a note from the church saying mm-hmm. they have religious problems yes. with X, Y, or Z. And are you, are getting, you handing those notes out? <laughs> I can, are I they can whip you up one. They're the also getting, they're getting notes from chiropractors that they don't like wearing masks and they're uncomfortable and they can't Oh, breathe. really? That's a new one. The chiropractor will do it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I right. think you're right, though. I think we got politicized way too early and all of the you know, logical approach to this has gone out the window. It's been completely overshadowed by people just satisfying their their need to follow a certain narrative. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've always said, and I've said this a decade ago when Dr. Drew would always say to me, where are we going? Where's this country going? Where are we heading? I just say, safe spaces and octagons. That's <laughs> yeah. where we're going. There's no, more, there's no more middle. <laughs> and safe Shatner's, spaces and space. Shatner's punching out, but... <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's driving. They're even driving a, a Prius or a Jeep. Yeah, like that. That's it. Yeah. No more Camrys. We're beyond no. the Camry. That Camry's a middle car. We need this or that. Extreme. We're saying this plug in electric, or I'm putting a lift kit on my Jeep. Yes, like that's who we are. You're absolutely right. So you, the the you're either getting vaxxed or you're going fuck it. I don't care if it's good for me. I'm not yeah. doing. It. I'm going to the octagon. It's my right to not do right. it. Right. Um, super personal question for you. Yeah. Okay. So did you get vaccinated? Mm-hmm. Do you do you remember which one you got? Uh, Pfizer. Okay. Do you have super fucked up periods now? I can answer that. <laughs> I'm like, dun, dun, dun. because oh, mine you know, I don't, got but I... crazy, and then when I said that, I got an outpouring of women being like, "I thought I was going insane." Mine isn't crazy. My period hasn't changed, but I I have grown a a rather large dick. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm that, things are that. looking up. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in the something happened category. No, but you know what? I you know we need to talk about this. Uh, off yeah. air because I still want to have my candidacy as a very hot ticket. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But we need to discuss no, this. No, let me let me back it as up a, as a as a female. Understood. I have we get back to talking about John Ham's cock. <laughs> no, no, no. I have I have real personal I'm, questions. Okay, because I'm going to help you. You no longer get a period and can have all the unprotected sex you want. It's one of those weird side effects from Pfizer. Oh wow! I Is mean, that... I I would like to check that. But okay, can I yeah. get that? Can I order I mean, that? It's alleged. Yeah, that sounds really? that yeah. sounds alleged. That sounds like hmm. crowd control yeah. right yeah. there. Population control. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's talk about Playboy because now that it's totally digital, it doesn't get a lot of the press that it's gotten in the past. But it is, you know, we had the the white corner was it the white cornerback, and we've got Bubba Wallace, white all these people. Right. Tearing down barriers, Mm -hmm. and now for uh, the October issue, the 2021 issue, it'll feature a 23-year-old man named Bretman Rock, who's a male social media influencer. Oh, I just got dry. We have a picture (laughs) for you. Rock is a Filipino-American who rose to fame as a YouTube beauty influencer. Uh, Also starred in a recent reality MTV show called MTV Following Bretman Rock. Uh, He's reportedly the third man to appear solo on the cover. There was Hef. Then there was Bad Bunny, 
now we got this uh, little guy. Um, the magazine closed its print edition We're in We're looking at a very slender Filipino guy with the corset pulled mm-hmm. down. The bunny ears. It's, it's, it's wild. It's a hot pic. It's a, it's a it's great photo. Yeah. He's wearing boots. I like the black and white. I mean, this is a, it's, it's live your life. But life who, is short. But, 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 yeah. but it makes me ask the question, because it's Playboy, who is this for? Nobody. Th- this is for a lot of straight dads. Ah, just curious straight men. I see. Who are living lies? They're still just buying Playboy. It's all good. Yeah, it. it, it this is. It's. It's really. It's smart. It's marketing. Yeah, is what it is. But they just want us talking about it. I mean that. That's done it. and done. But this is. It's over. It's over for Playboy. It's like the, uh, this is what happened to the Oscars. They got all fucking woke. No one mm. watches anymore. They go on host lists and they got fucking all progressive and no one gives a fuck. It's, this it's is such essentially a, what Playboy's done. It's a weird weird cycle that's going on that, that I'm witnessing where I think everyone should live the life they want to live. I think this is beautiful. It's a great photo. Live your life. Everyone deserves love except for like murderers and people who are doing terrible things to dogs and children. Mm. But the... The irony of the wokeness is you're losing your freedom by trying to scream about it so much. You know, it's important to raise awareness and all of that. But I feel like it's sort of a double edged sword when we continue to try to, I don't know, cancel people who aren't on board with everything. You know, I'm a very open person. I'm I, I, I think you know, people deserve to be treated well and, and all those basic boxes checked. But I also think that there's something on the other side of that that that's really detrimental to actually being able to live in a free society. Well, we, we've talked about this many times on this show. It, Adam references it a lot. It being, you know, the Twilight Zone episode being wished into the cornfield. Right. If you don't get on board. Exactly. And it, it's, you know, a lot of people are still coming from an era where they don't understand this. They're not going to understand this. And we have to understand their inability to understand. Well, that's that's what I've said before, too. It's like, it's a race. Not everybody is at the same point in the right. marathon. And just because you cross the finish line, you're going to look back and shit on somebody else who hasn't gotten to the finish line yeah. yet? Like, it's, fuck you. It's, you go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's unjackable. I'm sorry, are you still here? It's not jackable. Does it do yeah. anything for you? No, it's weird. <laughs> A little chub? Fucking half chub? Weird. Half Le- chub. Little leather? A little, little tiny chub. Listen. It, it, Which is, it, is your sidekick. It's, it's just... <laughs> It's tantamount to the person that walks into the women's bathroom. Every there's there is a there is a uh, no free lunches in nature. Mm-hmm. I've not heard any push toward like testing. I mean, I know it exists, but I mean, like antibody tests. Yeah, like hey, we're gonna put up kiosks everywhere. We're gonna open the. Right. Dodger Stadium parking lot, which is what you do when you want to get something done in L.A. You go, the parking lot, if Dodger Stadium <laughs> is open now, we put cones out there. 